All right, action. A nice sunset over the uh, river bluffs. This is Illinois, the U.S. state of Illinois. Central Illinois, they call it, or above the uh, Illinois River. That way, like a mile. And yeah, the Superior Hammock here has been working out well. I'm in a comfortable lounge position, I find, when, I don't know, this part of it kind of hits here. Fine-tuning the hammock, I lengthened the ridge a bit. When I first were, was using these hammocks, I'd find my feet in my sleeping bag would slide off to the side a bit or end up on this thin fabric strip, my heels or whatever, but lengthening the ridge kind of keeps me in that pocket when I my shoes are off and I want to be warm and everything. Other than that, I'm looking forward to trying the uh, Superior Cocoon. These are for the half bug net. I've got one of those I ordered in the uh, when it's, this is a 30 Fahrenheit hammock, but when it's super, getting super cold, like below 30 Fahrenheit, I think snapping on the bottom quilt protector, especially the frost, because the frost kind of builds up on it. You can just shake it off. From what I'm finding out, people are saying that the bottom quilt protector adds a few degrees of warmth too, so you can kind of get through that temperature barrier where... I don't know, when everything freezes, seems like it's about, there's some sort of a big adjustment there. Maybe start difference of going from being comfortable at 30 degrees down to, you know, 25 or whatever. It's quite a difference. Oh yeah, I could talk about hammocks all day. Keep enjoying the sunset and, uh, I don't know, I've got my uh, sleeping bag in my bag down here somewhere. I might even just watch the moon too and fall asleep.